Okay, today I'm going to show you how to download employment data from CanSim. We begin at the Statistics Canada website here. Let me wait for it to download. Now, CanSim you can find either under Popular Picks or under Key Resource CanSim. Okay. The employment numbers are found under labor, employment and unemployment. Okay. Now, the numbers, the, the most frequently used employment tables are actually fairly far down. So it's in some ways easier just to remember the table numbers and then search by table number. There's the monthly unadjusted numbers. Those are useful for knowing precisely what the employment or unemployment rate actually is at a period in time. Okay, This is annual data, which is useful if you're looking at long-term trends. So, you know, you can just get a long-term picture on employment or unemployment rates. The most frequently used table is actually on the next page. So, you know, it's not something you would just stumble across. Um, it's down here. Um, maybe record the number so you know it. 2820087. Okay, these are sometimes called the headline numbers because they're the labor force numbers, the numbers for employment or unemployment that are reported in newspaper headlines. Okay. Um, you can see you've got the latest numbers, most recent five months worth of data um, at a national level um, for the, enti the entire labor force um, uh, 15 years and over. Okay, so it's quite a, a, a large, uh, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not sort of particularly refined in that sense. Um, you can get a huge amount of data. You know, this, this uh, data table, it doesn't look like it's much. It, it's, there's a huge, huge amount of data underneath this little table. And by going add remove data, you can find it. Um, there's data for each province, uh, not for the territories. Um, there's for the em entire population, there's employment, unemployment. Unemployment rate and employment rates are two very commonly used numbers. So unemployment rate and well, let's just look at the employment rate. Okay, um, You can look at it. I'm not going to aggregate it. I'm going to look at males and females. And there's different age groups. Um, there's been a lot of action in the older age group, and that's the group I'm going to download. Um, for looking at macro trends, um, seasonally adjusted data is the one that's most commonly used. And let's uh, choose a 10-year period, uh, 2002 to 2012. Okay. If you're looking for quite a few, um, quite a long time span, it's best to choose time as rows. It just makes the table easier to re read when you download it into Excel. Okay. So here there's a pattern and what's, what we can see here is that the female employment rate for people 55 and older in 2002 it was 20 percent it's now increased to 30 percent so that's a 50 percent increase it's 10 percentage points but it's 50 percent um, males again we see quite a substantial increase and you know, to 39% from 33%.
or 34%. And I think there's just a whole load of really interesting stories here um, about changes in the retirement rules, changes in pensions, um, different cohorts going into the labor market, the baby boomers aging. There's, there's just a, a whole lot of really interesting stories, but you can see that's quite a change in the labor market here from 34% uh, of men and 20% of women over 55 being employed to all the way up to 30% of women and 40% and of men. Okay, so big increase. Um, download this data. Option two should have a warning. I guess it does, 9.4 megabytes. Don't, you know, don't download this unless you really are sure that that's what you want. Um, option one is the more usual download. Download the data, download the file, it should just open up in a CSV file. Uh, that's all there is to it.